Mark Shoup is my guest today from the creative marketing firm Shoupco. Thanks for joining us, well, Good Mark. morning, Jennifer. Thank you. Well, let's talk about the ones that you liked. Well, the ones that I like are very different than the ones the USA Today poll liked. Oh, okay. Uh, my top three were Doritos with the crystal ball, the Bud Light, uh, the budget cutbacks, and the Dorito when the, when the guy takes a, a bite out of a Dorito and good things happen to him. Now, compare that to what the USA Today uh, liked, the, the, uh, the people participating in their, in their ad meter, the Dorito spot that I liked was number one, Budweiser Clydesdale, the circus commercial was number two, and number three was the Budweiser Clydesdale learning new tricks, which I thought was a very entertaining commercial. I liked it a lot. Well, let's talk about Anheuser-Busch because okay. really it owns the Super Bowl, doesn't it? When it comes to, I mean, it wasn't the sponsor, but when it comes to ads. They absolutely own the, the Super Bowl. In particular, they, they own the USA Today, the ad meter poll. Ten, uh, the last 10 years, they've taken first place and they've had the majority of the top 10 spots this year, this is the first year in 10 years they haven't won the first spot. That went to the Dorito spot with the guy throwing the globe at the in, in vending, the vending machine. machine, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, does your firm do any commercials for Anheuser Busch? We world. don't. We actually work for Miller Brewing Company. Like oh, okay. Competitor. Just full disclosure there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, what do you think? What do you think will happen today. with Anheuser Busch's marketing budget now that InBev has taken over? We will see. I, you know, all indications are it will be cut to a degree. We don't know right now how much it will be. Hopefully it's not much for the good of St. Louis. And Anheuser-Busch is a great company. They make great beers, and I hope they, they do well for many years to come. I've read that analysts say the one thing Anheuser-Busch, aside from making beer that a lot of people like to drink, but that it's just brilliant when it comes to branding. They are good marketers. They, they always have been. Uh, you know, I will say overall, back to the Super Bowl a little bit, the commercials weren't nearly as good as they've been in the past. I well, that's what our chatters are saying this morning, that they people are saying they thought the commercials were not that great. I think it's the weakest pool of commercials I've ever seen in modern day Super Bowl. So to what do you attribute that? If you you know, I knew you would ask that question. I was laying in bed last night. Saying, it's your biz. I don't know. I don't know why. I think the, the uh, the economy, people being a little more cautious, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little more subtle with the humor, although humor won this year as it usually does it's in the Super Bowl. The right uh, they spent a lot of money. Each each 30 second commercial cost $3 million. That's $100,000 per second. And then you add on top of that $2 million just to produce the commercial. So there, that's $5 million just to run a second commercial. That's a lot of money. And Aja Bush ran, a, I think, a total of four and a half spots or uh, uh, nine 30 second spots so that represents 45 million dollars they spent just within the Super Bowl and then there's a PETA ad people for the ethical treatment of animals which NBC did not run found not it objectionable run. yeah and, and I I question whether or not PETA even was going to spend the money to run it but it was a great ploy and great strategy mm -hmm. in that part because it drove a lot of people to the PETA website Absol did you see the myself included yeah yeah I, I went and saw it as very sexual ad and I understand why it didn't air uh, but I think it was a good strategy just to build the hype. GoDaddy does that a lot. Their ads are very promiscuous. Uh, this year the same sort of thing and they usually, ha they, they don't want the Super Bowl committee to approve their ads. Right. They want some to be rejected <laughs> just to heighten the talk about the spot to drive people to the website. Yeah, mission accomplished. Yeah. Well Mark, thank you very much for joining us today. It's my pleasure, today. thank you.